you know, to play some guys that haven't played a lot. Um, I thought Fulkerson as bat at bat was tremendous, being down 0-2, and you know, he he laid a probably a game-winning sacrifice bunt down against Irvine. You know, so you certainly want to reward guys, you know, for you know doing that. Plus, he's been he's been patient on the bench, and Pilly needs to get some playing time. And uh, you know, that was a good walk, even though you know left on left, he doesn't usually get any of those opportunities. And you know, I thought the pitching, I thought Johnson threw the ball really good. Um, you know, we had some free opportunities. I think they had six opportunities, and we gave them three of them. Um, but you know, for the most part, you know, guys were pretty efficient, and they attacked the strike zone and. Uh, you know, it was, it was good to get it was good to get some guys out there, and uh, you know, Kyle threw the ball really well at the end of the game. Your uh, the, the Masiel Kyle tandem at the end has become pretty pretty stout in terms of like you know you're knowing you got those two guys with those last two innings. Yeah, I think uh, I, I think what we were looking for about three weeks ago, a month ago, was. We we're looking for two guys to kind of come out of the bullpen, um, you know, and be and be efficient, you know. With if it, and I thought Max threw the ball good today. I think he's throwing the ball a little better. Um, if it was between Fry, Mags, even Johnson, because Johnson we kind of use as long, we kind of use them in a lot of different roles, but we've also used them in that sixth, seventh inning type of deal. And, and I give Moss a lot of credit because he had some things where he developed some bad habits over the summer, and he's done a nice job of Fuck getting him himself. We can't, no, no, Moss. Oh my. Moss. I thought there was some. You know, I think he had a little bit more velocity when he came back last summer, but I also think he, he, he had some problems executing pitches, you know, due to what he was doing, and he's done a better job of getting back into his strengths, which are, you know, efficiencies against right-handed hitters. Um, you know, so I, I think the options, you know, as we go down the, down, the, down the road here, you know, and that's what we want to use these games for, is, is to kind of solidify roles and stuff. And, you know, so I think, uh, you know, they've all done a good job, you know, when called upon to do what they need to do. But, um, yeah, it, it matched up pretty good, you know, the, the Moss Friedrichs. I didn't think our bats were great tonight. I didn't think, but I, you got to give some credit to Tarkley because he had more velocity than I think the guys expected. And I think he pounded the fastball away. And, you know, we didn't, we didn't really, you know, direct the ball properly. Yeah, no, it was pretty good. Um, you know, he's, he's a freshman, so he's going to be a good arm for them. And, uh, you know, but it's good for us. You know, it's good for us to, to face those good arms. But it was a good game. I mean, it really was a good game. I mean, it was uh, a lot of strikes being thrown, not a lot of mistakes, not a lot of free opportunities, and just a lot of efficiency. And, uh, you know, we, we, we had the same opportunities that they did, and, and they had some chances too. You know, small they were. But, uh, yeah, that's it. When, when you, at the beginning of the season, when you have those five games in a row where you, you lose on the, on the last at bat, did you ever think that you'd be back in contention? You knew you had a chance at conference, but did you ever think you'd be back in contention for a, an at-large bid? Because now you're back to 500 and you guys are just playing great ball recently. Yeah, I, I, I think what we were looking at was just, just getting back to playing and doing the small things and taking mm -hmm. care of those things. And, and I think, you know, the results of losing at the end, you know, could be beneficial for us. And we talked quite a bit about it, about how these things could end up helping us down the road if, in fact, you allow them to and don't get there and get frustrated and try to do more and make excuses and things like that. And to their credit, you know, I think it's part of the game, too. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you're, you're, the, the margin for error in college baseball is becoming smaller and smaller with the bats and, you know, the efficiency of the pitching and things like that. So I, I think, uh, you know, we didn't really talk much about that, per se. Yeah. Um, we just kind of talked about getting back to, to, to managing our moments and, and take care of the small little things and, and let's get ahead in account instead of let's be in behind in account. You know, I mean, just little things like that to be able to, to shrink things, to make things simpler. And then at the end, you look back and you go, hey, that was a lot better, you know, and versus saying, hey, you know, hey, if we do this, we can get here. Yeah. I, I think all that is something that you really can't control, and we're just trying to really manage what we can, and that's taking care of the things that we have in front of us right at that moment. And I believe it was after the, one of the Fullerton games, uh, asked you, because of so many close games, if your team could get on a streak, and you've kind of done that. But you said that the guys 
had to kind of remember how to win. And do you think that's been what's happened? Is just they've been able to piece it together, and finally it's just coming together right now, and you're kind of peaking. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we got four, we got five weekends left, mm-hmm. you know, and there's a long way to play. Yeah, we got a long base, a lot of go, a lot, long way to go. I mean, we got Northridge, who's going to be very competitive against us up there, and then you got to go. You got Loyola in a non-conference, which still means something. And then I think, uh, you know, and then I think it's Davis and Pacific and Fullerton. So, you know, I think um, I, I, the bottom line is is that we want to just continue to play as good a baseball as we could. And as you look back, and that from the Wichita game, as Bob brought up before, mm-hmm. I think they've just really taken care of here, just now. And I think... I don't even know how many we want. I really don't. I don't even know we're at 500, to be honest with you. I'm just, we're just, as a group, just trying to play good, solid baseball and prepare for good, solid baseball. And, you know, I think all that stuff we can reflect back and look back when it's all said and done. But while you're in the middle of the journey, we need to address what we need to do in order to take care of the next part of that journey. And we're really trying to take it as micro as we possibly can instead of a big macro, you know, perspective, if that makes sense.